Hare Krishna. So, uh, sorry, Kana, go ahead. I was telling that uh, you asked about visa, right? So, Swargaloka will be like only for limited period. Perfect. It's like visa. You're absolutely right. So, heaven is for a limited period. After you finish your pious credits, right? It's like your visa period. It expires, you'll come back. So, you go to heaven, it's great, but it's not a permanent place, right? It's not eternal because it is also in your material world. So, you will come back to the earth. So, that is the story. And uh, 2.51, oh, there's no shloka, talks about spiritual world, material world, right? So, he says, by engaging in devotional service, all the great sages did what? Akarma. And therefore, they never came back to the earth. So, this is what is explained here. And this is called the banyan tree. We will take that up in the 14th chapter. But now, when your intelligence has passed out in this delusion, you become indifferent, right? So, basically, bottom line is only one line for you to understand is that you don't need anything. It's like your sponsorship. Somebody wants to sponsor your, your uh, education 100%, provided you don't ask him any questions of anything as to what the fees is. But if you ask about the fees and you want to get down, then he will sponsor 80%. What would you prefer? You like to know what the fees and you like 80% sponsorship but not bother about fees and study and get 100%. What would you like? 100% scholarship. Exactly. So why are we bothered if somebody is going to, whatever be the fees, if somebody is sponsoring or if the college is sponsoring, let's not even get into the fee. Nah? We'll focus on, that is what it is. So let's not even get into good credit or bad credit. We are focusing on whole look. Right? It's very hard to understand this because for me, I got stuck here in this chapter. So I'm again telling I don't want bad credit. Definitely that we are clear. But good credit, very difficult. I want to hold on to it. I don't want to let go. Right? So does anyone know the story of King Nirga? If you know, type in chat. We'll have that story at the end. Uh, when your mind is no longer disturbed by the flowery language, why? I start asking. I want this. I want this. If you don't have that and you're fixed that, you know, Goloka is your objective, then you will automatically, you know, the words can't, can you know, bother you at all. So a quick summary is 2.50, I told freedom from good and bad will give you freedom from birth cycle. And it will give you freedom of from Vedas. And also, we also understand realization of relationship with Krishna is eternal, right? Part and parcels. We saw that. God, ba go back to Godhead. So very clear, good and bad. Good. What is good? What is bad karma called? I just told you all. Vikarma. Vikarma. Exactly. So, Vikarma. So, we don't need Vikarma. And what is good karma called? Sakarma. Ah, sakarma, but it's just called karma. Right? And what is uh, no need credits for good or bad called? Which is Akarma. Akarma. Very nice. Hari Bol. Super. You guys should be actually in level 3 here. Pretty elevated for this. So, all this is there. So, Krishna bottom line is telling no renunciation, no running away, do your duty. Right? Now I'm going to ask you one question. Very honest answer. How many of you have ever thought at least once in your life you want to run away? One time. Father is boring. School is boring. I have thought many times. Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right? Mataji. Yeah. So is there anybody who yes, feels uh, we feel like running away? No, again. Mostly no. times. Yeah, attendance is there. You can record many times, right? So, did we have the spirit of devotion to run away or did we want to run away because the present was bad? I never had any spirit. I just wanted to run because it was too much for her. To just wanted to escape from the situation. Super. Thank you so much. You gave me the answer. Escaping is the answer. So, Arjuna wants to escape. Not because he wants to fight, but because he had mixed emotions, right? Indecisive. Why do you get indecisive? Too much is there in my head. Someone told I will think more. For me, it freezes. I can't even think more. That's why I'm indecisive. But thinking more is not a wrong idea. It's fine. But at the end of the day, even after thinking more, we may not get a solution because we are very, we are at a saturation point. Right? So we all want to run away. Very true. Look at like Arjuna, we're all on the same side. And that is the mood of Bhagavad Gita. What mood should we be? We should all be in the mood of Arjuna. Now, don't hear half and go and tell in your house that, you know, in the class, Mataji told, yes, we'll all have to run because Arjuna ran. We also complete by telling that Krishna told, don't do that. <laughs> do your duty. Right? So now Krishna is telling. See, many times this happens, right? And when I was a small kid, I used to remember my uncle used to take the example. He never used to compare directly telling that um, we are good and you have to follow us. So he used to tell indirectly, like, you know, hey, they are um, getting marks well because they have this habit of studying early in the morning. Right? 
because that is more calmer way of telling rather than to tell hey idiot why can't you study he is getting more marks now she is getting more marks now have you experienced this many times we will have one of our parent it could be father or the mother very sweetly trying to tell us not rubbing us on the wrong side the qualities of somebody who is excelled in a particular field rather than pointing directly about of, of the person have you come across that relative yes, mata ji yes. relatives very nicely they will tell not pinpointing but very positively telling i am not telling relatives are very sarcastic i am very happy if you have a nice relative who motivates you uh, but what i meant is very nicely telling not with the intention to hurt you but to develop the qualities in you yes or no yes yes occasionally at least we will come across someone sometime even teachers will tell right they will tell the person who got the first rank last year used to behave in this way used to have this exam paper this is how she used to write very commonly we come across that right so now uta is doing the job because now he scolded scolded him initially but now he is the guru no so he has to take the teacher position so he is telling arjuna let me explain about stitta pragya what is stitta pragya it means that stitta pragya is none but whatever krishna arjuna told no sitadir muni who wants to run away his qualities so he is telling that fight but become fixed in krishna conscious become a sita pragya indirectly he is also giving out the qualities of how a completely abandoned sanyasi will be which he will tell later he will tell in the sixth chapter but now he is just giving this uh, yeah go ahead uh, whoever wants to chant bumi you or dia who wants to do it i will read the translation mataji okay kana dia go ahead hare krishna arjuna uvacha sthita pragya उंडरस्टैंड right most of the time for me in the exam what i won't understand is a question anyone experience this when i open the paper i will never understand the question i may know the answer but i will never understand the question anyone yes sorry yeah and that happens now so i am a student of bhakti shastra which is your level 4 today uh, i had uh, prabhu explaining namnishtha prabhu takes class for us when he asked the question i am like blank so he's telling what i said i don't understand the question so you have to repeat it again so why i am most of the time right because for us understanding the question is very important because this chapter is about that how does he speak does not mean what language he speaks or what accent he uses it means that what he speaks and what is his object or topic of interest right for example we are all doing transcendental work now because we are talking krishna you are talking krishna now let's say that we all meet in a coffee shop our topics will be more material right and now if girls alone meet what will be the topic hey i like your earring yaar your t-shirt is good your jean is good right so this becomes a topic so in my college i still remember there is a girl and i met her again after a few years and i am talking about my uji and she took a bet uh, that she will not wash her jean for one year and i still remember that and when i saw her the first thing i told her you are the one right who don't she said you still remember the point is our mind can store the worst possible things which are not relevant to rumba you right so that is why she said oh my god you still rumba and she felt so nice oh you rumba but for what are we trying to do so basically entire drama is you know that speaking right now what is the language as i said it's not the accent but what is the what how do you sit how do you walk sitting is again not whether you're sitting in a sofa or whether you're sitting in a chair it is like how composed are you and how do you walk again is not cat walk it means that how do you manage this material world how do you go so these questions he wants to know that what is the topic which he will be interested how is he composed and how what is the you know what is his interest of talks and what, how does he associate and how does he navigate you know this material world because he is also in the same material world right so he is talking about speech 56 7 and sit 58 to 63 and how he walks 64 to 70 with that we'll end so symptoms of sita pragya how does he speak is we have given an example of raupata if you see he will speak only krishna kala he will chant he will speak he will talk only that 
right when he wherever he is he will meditate wherever he walks he will uh, speak about krishna we have lot of walk talks and all that and these are six goswami does anyone know the meaning of goswami no mate goswami means someone who is controller of senses he can has complete sense control that is what in one word and most of us are godas aware we are servants of the senses right most of the time mind only controls us right uh 2.55 hari krishna go ahead shri uh, yes shri bhagavan vacha prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan atman devatmana sushtita pratya sadoshyate hari krishna so he says that o oh, partha Uh, when a man gives up all varieties of sense uh, right mental concoction when he finds satisfaction in self alone so basically everything and when the self here means krishna right so when he, when everything anything related to confusion he gives up and he is completely focused example is this one can you tell me who is a small boy prahlad maharaj exactly so basically you know they try to torture who try to torture him? his father himself exactly so can a situation be worse than this it's easy to fight an enemy right but you can't fight a friend. have you ever seen we have more problems fighting a friend rather than fighting an enemy yes yes so imagine in his case he's 5 year old and his father is trying to kill him what will be his state of mind physically forget emotionally also horrible na how yes so yes. yes. fearful to live in his own house exactly you can't even live in the own house and we will be telling right when every time my dad if he shouts at me i used to be so angry i used to be so upset i'll be thinking i'll walk out of this house i have not walked but then i've always thought like this right and maybe i was a bad brat but this is used to come in my mind all that time and imagine what should this fellow do he should have ran out like dua went to the forest this fellow should have permanently ran off the place yes or no and how much of humiliation poison they threw him off the mountain cliff they tried to kill him they got him tried they tried to stamp with elephants but doesn't matter at all he was constantly clear because he was in a different plane right and they tried to put him in fire yeah that. such people are prabhupada why i am bringing him as well is because prabhupada is from kaliyug right our yuga and he went abroad people insulted him he went by cargo ship and in the fridge they used to keep food and non veg and veg used to be kept and for somebody like him who never used to touch non veg from childhood it used to be very difficult right non veg means that really raw meat so if someone is even a non vegetarian you will understand how difficult it is a lot of things he had to do so basically simple we are starting with the symptom of the speech and intro was about what is focus is speech yeah go ahead hare krishna dukhesh vanad ंग and the person is always free from attachment nothing and such a person is someone with a steady mind so you're talking about speech this will come in nectar of instruction first one talks with vacha vacha means speaking vacha vegam manasa krodha vegam jigva vegam udro prashta vegam etan vegan vishesha dhiraha sarvam apiman satisha vidyan so basically dhiraha and sthita pragya is the same why i am telling is you you get the same word dira subsequently so this someone who is undisturbed irrespective of whatever happens whatever happens right does anyone know what is the three fold miseries these are the secondary miseries but do you know what do you mean by three fold miseries <laughs> no mother okay what are the four primary miseries in this world you all know it it's just a question you know and the answer both you will know primary misery is birth death old age and disease janma mrityu jara vyadhi look like it. yes janma mrityu jara vyadhi that's a primary now three fold miseries are called adi atmika adi bhautika and adi devika 
I will tell an example. Adi Atmika, anything which is created by my own body and mind. I am sick or my mind. Example, let's say Diya, I am chanting and Diya has not told anything, but I will think, oh, maybe Diya chants very well and she's thinking that I am such a useless teacher that I am not at all chanting well. My mind. There is no re- re- reaction from her. What she thinks also, I don't know, but I will make my own concoction. That is Adi Atmika. Adi Baudhika is really externally I face. Example, dear really tells me, Mataji, your, ma'am, the way your chanting is horrible. You have a horrible voice. That affects me. Right? Our Adi Baudhika. Externally, I get affected. Like my dad scolding me or teachers or the neighbor trying to create issue. All that is Adi Baudhika. What is Adi Devika is sickness, COVID. Right? COVID and all, you don't have control. It has come. Okay. And that is basically uh, problems faced because of all the natural calamities. They also call it like problems caused because of devatas, demigods. Right? So that is Adi Devika. These are the threefold miseries which someone has in this world. That's called secondary miseries. Hare Krishna. So speech is continuing. Hare Krishna, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Vatrana Vishne has that. That prapya shubha shubham. Okay, so he says that somebody who is not affected by this duality, right, is in perfect knowledge. So he'll have better speech. So one is unaffected by good or bad, is someone who is very, very important. So speech, what he said, somebody, so we saw two points about speech. This mind is never disturbed by all the three. Inside, if I perceive, also no. Outside, genuinely, I have also no. COVID external by God also no. Why? Because he is completely elevated and he is free from all the three. Fear? Why? Because I'm not worried. COVID is there. Okay, if it has to come, it will come. Right? How many of them have thought like that? How many have spoken about COVID? COVID, COVID. My aunt used to tell COVID, 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 COVID. And she she used to, she asked me once, why you people are all telling Krishna, Krishna? I told it's better to call Krishna more times than COVID. Yes or no? At least, yeah, something. And the number of times people would have used the word COVID in a day, especially the initial days, is more than people would have called their own children or their own mothers. Yes? Agreed? There was a news that someone named the child a COVID, Corona. Oh, really? That was nice. Okay. So, I still remember my uncle also, not um, a professional singer, but he composed a song uh, about COVID when S.B. Balasubramaniam died. You know, so something like that he did. So, I think people, COVID became the center. Is it of any use? All these songs, COVID being centered, does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel very happy? No, it pulls no. so negative. So negative, so depressed, right? So what's the point? So this is what it is. So it puts you in fear because of which we get angry. The number of divorce cases, the number of problems have increased because of that. Second point is good or bad doesn't matter. We are not bothered about whether it's praising, but we are fixed with the perfect knowledge because we know it is only body. Theoretically, we are studying. It will take a long time for all of us to improve. Now he's talking about sitting and he's comparing it with the tortoise. Why? Tortoise is a swimmer. It swims well and he moves. He doesn't sit. But if some attack comes, he will pull everything inside, right? Inside the shell and so hard you can't attack. Now, what is the attack thing which... Pulls, it's basically the sense object they are comparing. So if he has any kind of external in the material world, he keeps moving in the material world. But the moment the sense objects come to him, he will just withdraw his limbs from them. So, and he is so fixed. Shloka on to you. Hare Krishna. Yes, ma'am. Yadda samharate chayam guru mongani vasarvashaha indriyan indriyarthe vyas tasya pradnya pratishthita Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. How long have you been learning for chanting? One year. One year and more. And now uh, I am teaching also in Gita Parivar um, level. Wha- one year, oh. Mataji. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Why you are also learning? Somebody else also? Oh, okay, thank you. So very, very nice actually. I am also learning from you as you are chanting. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So, uh, so this one coming back to text 59. So, we spoke about the tortoise. So again, he is talking about what should I do? So do the embodied soul uh, can be restricted from sense argument and this sense object, right, remains. Taste is there. So you may restrict. What is the difference between them? There is a difference between stopping something. Mind is like a child. Have you ever noticed the child has a knife? What will the mother do? 
you will take it away i'll give you a child with a knife how will you take it take the knife scold and take it out ha huh? scold and take it out small child 8 months old the grip is very hard have you seen it's holding the knife part of it blade part how will you take it playfully sorry playfully playfully thank you so much so basically you divert the child right that's what you say yes you don't scold why because you know the child will hold it harder mind is also like that mind is also like a child the more you tell no it will tell yeah i will do if you tell uh, do it will tell i want just like the child so if you ask the child give me the knife she will tell no give it to me harder the grip becomes right so this is what it is hari krishna vishaya vini vartante niraharasya dehinah rasavarjam rasopyasya param drishtva nivartate param drishtva nivartate means higher taste right so you're talking about higher taste simple uh, concept is as you said playfully so what you will do probably you will give that baby a toy or doll so that the child loses the interest on the knife and throws it on your face and takes the doll so do the same to the mind give it a higher taste is what he is saying so for us to control the senses is very difficult but they will engage and what is a higher taste is focus on krishna chanting listening to the music of krishna will be have a higher focus so basically how does he withdraw right uh, so they are showing very easily you know a sanyasi like karma sanyasi and karma yogi karma yogi is how you get bhakti and sanyasi is someone who runs away he will say girl don't come i don't want to see you there is here you know they say okay very nice mata ji you come you make food you give it to krishna he give it to me i also eat as prasad you understand what i am telling the difference is there so in this case when you restrict what will happen like vishwamitra if you notice vishwamitra when menaka uh, sorry when urvasi came right vishwamitra and menaka or vishwamitra and urvasi i forgot that can someone help me vishwamitra who is who came menaka no idea no idea acha okay Vishwamitra is one example where he was a Kshatriya, but he became, he was a very nice person. So he was in transcendental platform and he followed followed like a Brahmana. So there was this Urvasi who was uh, I'll tell you the name whether it's Menaka or Urvasi though I don't remember. But one of those beautiful pretty... Menaka only, ma'am. Huh? It is Menaka only. Menaka only. No, thank you so much, dear. Menaka only. So, Menaka. So when she saw when he saw Menaka, he was completely disturbed. Why Indra sent? Right, and he got disturbed. He got agitated. Mind got. stressed because he was doing no no and somewhere he got little disturbed now second time he decided anybody comes you know i will be solid 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 so second time if i remember right that's why i got mixed i think they indra sent urvasi because urvasi is very beautiful and what happened this time he never got disturbed but he got very angry so did he do the right thing yes or no why silent yes or no You only have to tell yes or no. Why so long? Okay, thank you so much. The answer is no because getting anger is also wrong. No, for a sannyasi, he should not be thinking of that. First time he lost to uh, you know agitation of mind. Second time he lost to anger, right? So first time as we saw lust, second time anger. So either case is gone. But if you develop a higher taste here, you focus on Krishna. The focus itself automatically changes. and uh, the next point again on sin- con- uh, continuation of sitting yeah please go ahead and chant another f- we'll almost finish in about 5 minutes yeah yatato yapi kaunte ya purushasya vipashitah indriyane pramathini harante prasabham manah so even someone who wants to control the mind is very difficult the sense will automatically take so if someone wants to forcibly control senses just not possible and this is a story of um, durvasa so durvasa got uh, and vishwamitra is what i told you and uh, amrish maharaj is someone who is someone with complete uh, focus in his mind because he used to do all devotional services for god and now this is a combination of amrish maharaj and durva durvasa does anyone know the story of amrish maharaj and durvasa you would have heard in the 18 days yes or no type yes mataji mataji you know it okay fine so you all know the situation how durvasa even though is supposed to be a saint got carried away amrish even though he was in the rajas quality right you know a raja kshatriya will have more not just uh, satvik quality but he will also have a uh, lot of rajasic quality right? he has to fight and all that right he was more calm because he was fixed so this is the difference so siddha pargya does not mean a brahmana he can be even a kshatriya that's why these people were called raja rishi 
right they were called raja rishi because the rishi by is the quality of a saint so they were kings but they were rishis hari krishna chai. yes ma'am Uh, ma'am this is which shloka uh, yes yes now it is visible tatu sarvani sanyam ya yukta asita tat paraha vashehi yasye yasye indriyani tasya pratnya pratishtita hari krishna text yeah go ahead and read ma'am yes ma'am thank one you one who restrains his senses keeping them under full control and fixes his consciousness upon me is known as a man of steady intelligence hari krishna so now we'll be confused right oh sit and all very difficult how will you do he says very clearly who can control senses right and his conscious on me how will he control sense if you concentrate on krishna automatically sense will come in place so that is what he is talking about so man of steady intelligence will have complete control over senses and matpara fixed conscious right on krishna automatically the paramatma will burn up the impurity there is a beautiful shloka called shishtashtakam and uh, that's from chaitanya he composed eight shlokas right only eight paras does anyone know who's chaitanya mahaprabhu yes very nice so the first shloka is like this hari krishna jeto darpana marjanam bhava maha dhavagni nirvapanam shreya kairav chandrika vitaranam vidyavadu jeevanam so chaitanya darpana means cleaning the heart so he says cleaning the heart krishna personally takes a broomstick and cleans our heart so that is the job of paramatma on to 6.2 uh, sorry 2.62 hari krishna yayato vishayan tum sam sangaste pu shupajayate sangat sanjayate kama kama krodho vijayate hari krishna hari krishna bumi hari krishna okay mata ji while uh, contemplating the objects of the senses a person develops attachment for them and from such attachment lust develops and from lust anger arises hari krishna and continue the text bumi yes ma'am krodhad bhavati sammoha sammoha smruti vibhramah smrute bhramshad buddhi nasho buddhi nashatranashyati Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. From anger, complete delusion arises, and from delusion, bewilderment of memory. When memory is bewildered, intelligence is lost, and when intelligence is lost, one falls down again into the material world. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Very nice. So this is very clear. So I'll take the pictorial representation, combine combination of two shlokas. Now let's say that we are watching the uh, a TV, an ad comes for a lovely lipstick. So all the girls are attracted for the lipstick, and all the boys are attracted to the girl. in the tv right so you see the object automatically the eye sees sense and gets attached so automatically lust develop lust here means both any desire so lust now you will go and search for the lipstick you will not have access the boys will go and check the ad wait for the time currently current will go both will lead to anger right and therefore delusion and the delusion confusion right and bewilderment my mind gets stressless and therefore intelligence is lost so instead of studying you people will all of us inclusive you know instead of studying for the exam we will be either running after the lipstick because it's all started from the eye or the guy will be dreaming about the girl and that's how we fall i'm not saying this is what is the content and uh, 6.2 uh, thing to some to hari krishna raga desha muk vima sorry raga vesha vimuktestu vishayan indriye sharan atma vasya vide atma prasadam adigachati but person who is free from all attachments and aversion and his control that is able to control through regulative principles of freedom can obtain the mercy of krishna now freedom and regulative principles seems very conflicting right the word by itself so we are talking about following regulative principles and how do you talk about freedom how because now you have the freedom to go to the 20th floor would you jump you have freedom would you like to jump no 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 why because if you jump we all know that the legs will go and you lose the freedom same way you want to drive on the road and i have freedom if you don't follow the civil law which is regulation you will be taken to jail by the police right so criminal law will prevail so your freedom will be as long as you follow the law so as long as you follow the regulative principles only you have actual freedom 
so walk he says that the one who is satisfied will be done we already saw this right with the um, three four miseries of material life will no longer be with them and therefore whoever is connected to krishna can have both intelligence and he is not connected to krishna he will not have intelligence and steady mind right his mind also will not be at peace and his intelligence also will be bewildered obviously when there is no peace there is no happiness so here we are talking about a boat when there is a swift wind right which um, and the wind is like the in this case is like the senses and the mind totally carries away right man's intelligence at all goes away. the wind is so powerful driver can't do anything one more thing this is the same thing therefore the, the if you restrain the senses like what i told vishwamitra it's difficult so you therefore engage the senses this is the most important point hari krishna go ahead and chant yani sha sarva bhutanan tasyai jagarti sanyami yasyai jagrati bhutani sanishta pashyato munehi hari krishna thank you so much so he says it swaps for the person night and day what swaps basically you think of a materialist what does he do he'll watch a late night movie he'll get up at 11 o'clock in the morning yes so no but you talk about a proper student at the time of exam you'll get up in the morning you'll study do things well organized right and if you have an exam maybe you will spend some time in the previous night packing your pencil box this is what you will do even on the material platform and if you're talking about spiritual platform let's say your job on a routine you get up in the morning you do your japa right and you have your bath you make prasad or serve prasad you eat the prasad right your day is fully focused because you start early at brahma moon and your night you will have no concept at all but it's completely slops so this is the difference between materialist materialist actions are all based on sense gratification but for him all the activities are spiritual so activities are like day and night not only physically swaps but these activities are like day and night and not at all disturbed by the demands of senses because he is so controlled that um, wait. sorry a person who has given up all the desires right who is free of desires and who has absolutely no false sense of proprietorship does not have ego i just told you a family which prays prays together stays together right so if the proprietorship where is a proprietorship where is the issue happens in the house 90% of the time i have a opinion and you don't listen to the opinion that is where the issue comes right whether it's brother sister father mother father and children or i am the owner i you better listen to me that is where we also get angry but if the proprietorship is lost and we all take a universal concept then all this is solved hari krishna last shloka go ahead esha brahme sthite parka nainam prapya vimuhyati sthitva syamanta kale pe brahma nirvanam rachati hari krishna brahma nirvanam rachati so is is one who uh, in that uh, come on last one bhumi read yes mata ji that is the way of the spiritual and godly life after attaining which a man is not bewildered if one is thus situated even at the hour of death one can enter into the kingdom of god hari krishna hari krishna so he says at the last moment of death right even at that last hour of death if one is situated in that fashion he will not uh, have any problem he will have complete krishna consciousness so that is the beauty with which he is talking about the sthita pragya just one second it's trying to connect the charger yeah so so he says that uh, so such a person is sure to reach the spiritual godly life and um, after attaining which the man is never bewildered he will not have any of this tension and he is permanently there so quick revision of 2.1 to 10 arjuna further doubt is clarified so he gives nyana so nyana is basically is telling that uh, you know fight and there is uh, uh, no death for the soul so you might have to fight and he also tells that because of that compassion he kills now 31 to 39 he says karma kanda don't simply talk about karma kanda for me and all that go to the ele- elevation position so you will not you will anyway have a bumper offer of uh, health or heaven and follow nesh kama karma yoga which is nothing but bhakti yoga which is only buddhi yoga fight without expecting results so you will not have any sin and also your family tradition will degrade if you run away right you should continue to fight and also he talks about the qualities of sthita pragya which is dhira which means that all these qualities are very important so that you are not affected by any of this right so this is what he is talking and this is how he solves the doubts of arjuna 
I do not know how many doubts of yours I have solved. So if you still have doubts or if you have any doubts, take it up. Meanwhile, I'll tell Priya. Vancha kalpa darubhya cha kripa sindhubhya eva cha patitanan pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha ananta koti vaishnava ki jai shrila prabhupad ki jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna all of you. And sorry today I have to take another half an hour extra because uh, this chapter is long. From next week onwards, it will be one and a half hour only next week because we'll have only one class. Yeah. So any other doubts? Since it's very long, we'll skip story today. Any other doubts? Mata ji wanted to share something. Please go ahead. So uh, you told about the reservation about the gas system and all in uh, in the present day. So actually, during our tenth, like in the board, we have to uh, tell our gas right. So, uh, like, there is my friend. She is in the general category, like OC, and even I am the I am from OC. So, actually, during the uh, tenth uh, submission and all, she just changed the cast. I asked, why did you do so? She told that cut off will not be necessary. She just uh, changed the cast, you know, because uh, because of the seats and all. On the even if they come to know after twenty years also her education license will get cancelled. You are aware? Yes, mother. So even I told the same, but yeah. her parents were not ready. So this is that's what I'm telling. This is like me. I went to my dad and I told no dad I don't want to be any of this caste. Give me you know, my my friend was SC, so that is what registered in my mind. So I told get me SC. He said you can't get like that. no you get me SC. I still remember you know I was like why can't you get SC? You are like he was a doctor. I said you're a doctor in a village, no? So I mean, not village. Like he used to do post mortem and all that for the government. I I told I told him you have contact with all of them. No? Why don't you get me an SC? It's not possible. You should be born. So I used to go and tell my friends, I'm so unlucky. I'm not born as an SC. I'm just telling you the mentality. Okay. So uh, this is what happens, right? So today the caste system, in fact, is totally misused, and I'm not commenting on that because then it will not become a spiritual thing. It will become a political talk. And I want to totally refrain. But why I'm telling you this the earlier, so the moment we tell Varna, we get so angry. That's the point which I want to drive is because we are all personal victims of this caste. Somewhere or the other. We have all been victimized by the caste, including I will tell the other lower caste because the so-called claimed lower castes are also hit because of the fact that like what you told, some people have faked. So the actual person who deserves does not get the benefit, right? So that is what is happening for many of them. So this is the biggest challenge which all of us are facing. So entire caste system of today is different from the Varnashtra system that day. Varna system was kept for maintaining peace in the society. During the Yudhishtra's time, there was no disease, there was no fights, nothing. Why? Because they followed the Varna. King used to focus only on taking care of his praja, right? And Brahmana used to take care of only taking care of the prajas from the spiritual point of view. King only from protection point of view. and Vaishya's only business point, of view, which we will all see how. And so by following that, there was peace. Today, you know, you feel, Acha, why you have to fight? I will fight, but why do we fight? To protect? No. To create problem, we fight. That's the challenge. Hare Krishna. But thanks for sharing. Any other questions? Any doubts? Any doubts? Hare Krishna. Hopefully, we'll have both these uploaded by next week. You should have access to playlist and we will share the playlist in the drive. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Any other uh, things? If there's nothing, we'll end and we will meet next Sunday at 7.30. Hare Krishna. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.